Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I'm going to talk a, a little bit about the vocabulary of statistics. Uh, that way, when you hear these terms later on, uh, they're a little bit more familiar. Watch for the end of this video where I'll actually go through an example of picking out what is uh, an example of these different terms. All right, so the first three terms that you really want to know about are data, population, and sample. You'll hear these quite a bit. Uh, data refers to the information gained from experiments, so it's really just everything you collect while doing one of these experiments. Population is a collection of all the measurements that you are trying to analyze. A sample is just a little part of that population. Now, often these two things get mixed up, population versus sample, so again, watch for the example near the end where I'll really try and differentiate between the two. Now, in addition to those vocabulary terms, you also want to know about, about parameters, statistics, and variables. A parameter is a characteristic of the population, and a statistic is a characteristic of the sample. So notice how parameters are associated with populations, and statistics are associated with samples. Alright, last one, variables. Uh, a variable is any characteristic whose value may change from object to object in a population. So now that you've seen all the vocabulary terms, let's go ahead and get to my example and see what exactly fits into each of these. Uh, in my example, uh, let's say that we are trying to figure out if men over 50 can lose weight on the pancake diet. So we'll describe what uh, the data is, uh, what would be the population, sample, parameters, statistics, and variables for this study. So the first part that uh, we will do is probably collect a lot of data for our survey. And some of the things that we might collect, well, we'll probably want to know what is the age of our subjects. Of course, since we're interested in uh, whether they gain weight or lose weight on the pancake diet, we'll want to see if there's any weight gain or loss. And we'll also probably keep track of some sort of subject number. You know, maybe we'll number them 001 and 002, just so we can keep track of them all. All right, so that's just a little bit of the data we'll collect. Now, in this study, what exactly are we trying to analyze here? Well we would be looking at uh, a population of all men over 50. That's what we're really trying to figure out is, is will this diet affect them? So all men over 50. Now, of course, there's no way we can give this diet to every single one of them and see if it has an effect. You know, there's just too many that we would end up having to take into account. So instead, we'll take a smaller portion of them and use them for our study and this will be our sample. So only the men that actually participate in our study will uh, be part of that sample. All right, now we need to consider what exactly are the parameters and statistics. Well, parameters could be average weight gain, or lost. Uh, of course, of all men over 50. Now, that's going to be really difficult to track, but of course, we're not uh, really keeping track of the entire population. Uh, we're more interested in what is the average weight gain or loss of the men in our study. And a possible variable for this entire thing? Well, depending on what subject we look at, 
they will each have a different starting weight. There we go. So now we have an example of some data for our study. What is the population and what's the sample? As well as some parameters. And you can see that uh, for the parameters it affects the population. And for the statistics, we're only talking about the sample. And of course, variables that would change from subject to subject in the study. Well, I hope this helps out. Uh, thanks for watching.